Hey everybody, thanks for joining me again tonight. Well, we're gonna go with some bigger surfaces, bigger pores, with some of my older videos with the color schemes. I don't know, I got this wild idea that maybe some people would like a painting along with their coaster. So, and I had the colors already mixed up. So that's even a better thing. So this one is a, uh, what is this? This is a 10 by 10 gallery wrap canvas. And I will link the video of the original one, the coaster set that I did, in one of the corners. Um, and on an additional note, there will be three different paintings in this this video. Uh, this one, another one that's a 12 by 12 from a a different or from a color scheme from another one, and then the last one's an 8 by 8 that was actually the color scheme of my my very last video. So. Hopefully you, and hopefully you enjoy all of them. Um, so onward with this one, you know, I will be using my blow dryer. My blow dryer has like a, I don't know, a paper cup. It's like, you know, you get the, at the dentist office, you know, to rinse your mouth out or get a drink. And um, I have the bottom of it cut out to focus the air from the blow dryer down to the puddle of cell activator. Um, on another note, you know, doing this one or doing the Shelly art a little bit on a bigger canvas, bigger surface, it gets so much more trickier than the smaller versions just because, I mean, more can go wrong, obviously, with any other painting. But, you know, it's it just it gets extremely harder the bigger you go until you're comfortable with it. It's not like a ring pour where you just make more paint or like a Dutch pour, you just pour more paint. I mean, it. you're wanting cells, so it's it's not so much of pour your paint out and then spin it out or stretch it out. It's, it's a little bit more. So it, it does get a little bit harder. So if, if you have problems going bigger, try smaller and just work yourself to work yourself up gradually. That's, that's my best advice on that. Um, so here we go. Here's your close-up of this one. Man, I think I went a little heavy on the orange. I'm not really liking all that orange, but if you like orange, you might like it, you know? But that's just me. I'm, I don't know. I just don't like all the orange. Now, the top part of this one right here, I love it. I love the top part. Then I see all this orange. So it's just love and hate, love and hate. But moving on. This was that one. Um, next one is a 12 by 12 tile. This was actually another one of my uh, popular color schemes of some coasters. And I'll try to link that or leave it in the description. And for this one, uh, a lady at work wanted, she actually has the coaster set, but she wanted this 12 by 12 for, I believe, the kitchen. She wants to. Uh, have this and then have it monogrammed and then I'll finish it off with epoxy now I know some people they don't like you know that kind of covers up your artwork but you know I I like I mean I, I appreciate it you know it's it is what it is so I, I'm gonna appreciate it um, but yeah again this one I'm gonna be using a Yeeho blow dryer and for some reason, I want to say hi ho. I guess shout out to the what seven dwarfs for that. And so I, I mean, I know it's kind of hard to judge how much paint you want to put on. I, I guess for this type of technique. So for me, I try to um, judge it. So I, I cut my uh, surface into threes, and then my puddle I want it to be a third of my surface. And it's pretty much worked out for me. For the most part, um, and I gathered some of my tiles that you know I do. And I have more paint than what I need, and or if you want a bunch of negative space, well, you just put a little bit less. And you know, uh, so I know some people they like to put like a little old line and do their little knife thing, and yeah, spin it out, and they have this nice look looking thin painting. I just it's not my wheelhouse yet. I'll work on it, but it's just not in my wheelhouse. So, um, another thing is, is if you are discouraged with it, I mean, 
I would say check your paint consistencies, make sure you got the right products. I know one of the one of the top problems is, you know, I'm using Ultra Deep Base by Sherman Williams is for my paint to make my pouring medium, but some people get the deep base and that makes your paints pastel looking. So if you're having problems with that, that, that might be that too. Um, but yeah, uh, well, you know me, I like to sprinkle my colors on top of my puddles. <laughs> I'm good at that. Um, and with this one, you know, I just put like a little dab of uh, gold in the center and sprinkle a little bit of gold because we all know gold can overtake something real quick and I don't need that. So here we go with this. I'm going to get the Yeeho blow dryer after my white cell activator and we're going to gonna go after it. So again, I blow out the cell activator by my mouth to just make that puddle a little bit bigger and then I come in with the yeeho so, um, I will say this I think the yeeho I probably should have used the yeeho for maybe like the 10 by 10 instead of the 12 by 12 although it got the job done but it's like it was having a problem pushing some of the paint so it's probably better for the smaller versions versus the bigger versions I should have just used my blow dryer but I, I promise I wasn't gonna I wasn't going to uh, scrape this one. Um, so here we go. I'm going to tell you right now the part that's going to bug me the most is the bottom. Well, it was the bottom. We're, we still see now. Yeah, so the bottom and the top left. I really wish I could stretch that out, but you know, at the bottom right now, there's not as many cells as the top portion. And I really liked having the cells all over the place, but there's nothing I can do about that. Um, so, you know, keep on spinning, see what you can get, see if you can stretch out these cells just a little bit farther. Now with my black cell activator, as you can see, it's getting thicker. I think that's due to the fact that it is, I can't remember if it's because it's too thick or too thin, but I think it's because it's too thick. So it's stressing, stretching out, not sinking as much. So here's your close up of it. Honestly, it looks almost identical to the four by fours that I did earlier. Um, Again, if you want to check out that video, hopefully it will allow me to link that. If not, you know, we'll throw it in the description. But, I mean, you got to love the interference violet, which is also, it'll go blue as well. And, yeah, so here we go. Here's how I make, or tape my canvases on the back. Um, I use frog tape. There we go. Not a paid advertisement, by the way. And from there, I actually use some tape double-sided tape that I put on the frog tape and I stuck it to my spinner. The tiles tend to stay there as well as um, like a heavier set canvas like the the gallery wrap one that I had on the first one. I didn't tape that one. I didn't have to because it was heavy enough for me to do this. So with this color scheme this is actually my a very popular one that I just did. This is my latest video and since it was so popular, I decided that I was going to do a bigger one and see what we get. Um, again, you want to, I have to thin out my paints pretty much every time just because of how the weather is here. I mean, let's, let's, you want to talk about weather? Okay, well, what, last week? Not even last week, this week, like three days ago, it's like 60 degrees. Today, it's like 40. Monday, high of 23, and it's supposed to snow. <laughs> and, and then later that next week, it's going to be back in the 50s. <laughs> so, you know, it, Texas weather is crazy. Um, but I'm happy for snow. It's twice this year, hopefully. Past that, it's been five years since we had snow. So, I always enjoy snow. I love the cold weather. But... We're going to go on with this one. Enough about the weather. Just saying the weather makes a difference with your paints. If, if you have to thin them or my cell activator acts, acting weird, like some of the ones that I've been doing here recently, my cell activator just wasn't doing it, and it was probably a week old, so I had to just, like, remake it. And it started working right. Who would have knew? So here we go. We're going to get my 
get finished sprinkling the colors on on there and then I'm gonna do my cell activator and I will say this I will be using the blow dryer on the 8x8 I'm not using the the Yeho one on this one and I don't know hopefully it will turn out pretty good um, honestly I, I can't describe how great these turned out I, I, I know I surprise myself sometimes but all right so black and white cell activators come throw that down and then we're gonna get the blow dryer again you I blow out the cell activator to make a bigger puddle and come in with the blow dryer and after that you I try to blow out like the edges of it I'm gonna tell you right now what's gonna drive me nuts is that top side I blew it out too hard so I mean if I could take off that one part where I blew it out too hard and the the uh, base paint showing, I would love this one so much. But right now, I hate that part. So, y'all might want to cover your eyes. And if you're familiar with TikTok, you might as well just start playing that Oh No song. So, here we go. I'm sorry, but it has to go. Um... So if you're yelling at me right now, I'm sorry. I've, I've done it. I've watched videos where people, you know, pour over it or they do something, and it just doesn't work out the way you want it to. So, you know, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry. Um, but we're gonna get it on round two, hopefully, because this is all my paint for this uh, color scheme. And if I make more, well, this canvas is going to have to sit out for a while and get get dry. Um, but no, I mean, you know, you win or lose on this. I mean, thankfully, it wasn't a 20 by 20 or anything bigger than an 8 by 8, right? So we all hate wasting paint. I totally get it. But... I'm a bit of a perfectionist when it comes to certain things and if it doesn't come out the way I want it to I just feel like I need to start over and I know that's that's my personal issue on that one um, but yeah we're gonna get this one finished here shortly and keep on uh, get you down for a closer look again I will say this if there's anything that I do that you you um, are interested in just shoot me an email. My email is in the description or get in touch with me. Um, Facebook or YouTube or Instagram for all that is. So I will uh, get back in touch with you. And uh, so, yeah, here we go. You know, my little quirk, like sprinkling the colors out before I put my cell activator down. Um, another thing is. I will have uh what is it what am I gonna have next I think um, well I can't release that one yet because that person hasn't gotten it yet but I got another 12 by 12 that I will show you the finished product of and um, actually with epoxy resin on that one so it looks great <laughs> I mean I again surprise myself sometimes with this stuff so like I told you blow out the cell activator a little bit and you know this time I wasn't gonna mess up I wasn't gonna let my hair dryer win again so I finished out with blowing it out the hard way um, and right now I'm telling you right now I I'm enjoying this one a lot more I like the bigger cells not the, so much the tinier ones and I don't know if you can see it right now but Towards the center, I see something like a four-leaf clover. But you'll get a closer look up of that in a second. And um, so, yeah. Just got two corners to stretch out. Hopefully, get to the end of it. And, yeah, this this is going to turn out just great. And like I told you, what you don't see, after I pour my paint, every puddle, after the blowout, after the spin out, Pretty much any time I see a bubble, I'm going to pop it. They are the devil, let me tell you. And there's that four-leaf clover that I see. 
in the center right there. I'll get you down for an even closer look uh, just in a second. But, I mean, look at those cells. They look great. Love this one. Turned out just as good as the coaster set did. Don't know if I want to do epoxy or varnish on this one yet. But whichever one I pick, it's going to look good. And anyway, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. I would appreciate it. Again, thank you.